everyone. So this is going to be my review for Fifty Shades Freed. Um, it was directed by James Foley. Uh, Fifty Shades Freed is the final installment in the Fifty Shades of Grey uh, movie series, which is based off of the book series by E.L. James. And she actually based that book series off of Twilight. It was like fan fiction. So very similar between those two. Uh, anyway, I'm not going to go really go into the past two movies. Uh, I'm just going to give you a summary of this one. Basically, uh, Christian and Anna are uh, get married at the very, very first minute of the movie. And so uh, it's basically the entire movie basically is them trying to figure out how to be married together. Uh, there's a lot of power struggles between the two. Um, and to give kind of a plot of a beginning, middle, and end, um, Anna's boss from the second movie, Jack Hyde, um, who was fired because he tried to rape Anastasia in the first, second movie. Anyway, he comes back and he basically tries to um, steal and kill uh, either Anastasia or Christian out of jealousy for many things. So it kind of gives the plot of beginning, middle, and end. Um, but other than that, it's just basically Anastasia and Christian trying to be a married couple and dealing with that while having lots and lots and lots and lots of sex. So that's a basic summary. Um, my reaction to the film, um, I did read the books. Um, I was a fan, um, but let me tell you, it's just like Playboy. You're not uh, reading Playboy for the articles, and you're certainly not going to watch this movie for the plot. Um, you're only really watching it for the guilty pleasure of all of the fun sex scenes. Um, but uh, it's, I mean, the plot's there. There's a story there. Um, you can't really... The base material wasn't great in the beginning. A lot of the lines are corny. A lot of the situations are kind of campy a little bit. But then again, you're not really watching this movie for deep thought, and you're not really watching this movie because it has like great themes or anything. Um, it is actually a pretty good adaption from the book. Um, there is some f things they skipped out. Um, but hey, you're, you're trying to get it in two hours and as long as, um, you know, there's sex in every 10 minutes on the screen, which there are, um, then you're going to be pretty happy with the film. Uh, as far as me, I thoroughly enjoyed it. Like I said, I, I liked the book. Um, I did like the movie series. I, I got what I wanted out of it. Um, so yeah, it was a pretty solid, uh, entertainment right there. Uh, of course, uh, Dakota Johnson, who plays Anastasia and James Dorian, who's, super hot and uh, plays a great Christian Grey. They're really good at um, both the roles uh, and it actually uh, winds up uh, pretty perfectly. So a pretty good conclusion to the story. Um, where it falls on my list. Um, so this will be the, uh, let's see, the fourth movie I've seen. Yeah, the fourth, fifth movie. No, the fourth movie that I've seen this year. Uh, let's see, it's going to fall in the, um, number two. Um, so that's going to be between The Commuter and Would I Rather Watch Commuter again or Would I Rather Watch Fifty Shades Freed again. Definitely Fifty Shades Freed over Liam Neeson being Liam Neeson. Um, but uh, Molly's Game, actually, I would rather watch that movie again more than Fifty Shades Freed. Uh, a little bit more clever, better acting, better story. Um, but uh, definitely uh, a lot of entertaining just in Fifty Shades Freedom is entertaining. So it is lining number two on my list out of the four movies I've seen this year. All right, uh, that's it. A short and sweet. Like I said, you're not watching this movie for the plot or the great acting. You're, act you're just watching this for one thing. Just like Playboy. All right, everyone. Uh, have a great day.